turn it on. What's going on, Flash Brashers? Rocky here today. Sorry for no face cam, but I kind of pressed for time getting this video done, so we're just going to go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to compare and contrast Zapquake versus the Skelly Spell method of taking out air defenses. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but Powerbang did a really good video uh, talking about how you can take out air defenses with Skelly Spells, uh, three Skelly Spells instead of using five slots with uh, two Lightnings and an Earthquake for Zapquake. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this to the test and see how it goes. Uh, we got level one Skelly Spells, uh, and we're going to see how that works out. Uh, those are still, you know, Town Hall 9 level Skelly Spells. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and find a Town Hall 9 and put this uh, put this method to the test and see which one's kind of more reliable and see which one works more effectively. All right, guys. So this is a Town Hall 10, but it's very, very rushed, and I think it's going to work if I understood correctly how to do this. Uh, so if you see this uh, air defense here, yeah, we know we got to attack. If you see this air defense here, it's kind of got like a line all the way around it uh, so that the skeletons are going to go more on it and not get distracted. So we're going to go ahead and drop three skeleton spells right on here. One, two, three, and see how this works out. This is a lower uh, air defense, but as you see, they take it out pretty fast. Uh, there weren't a whole lot of defenses around, so that's really ideal. Uh, you can actually see all those skeletons still going and taking out a bunch of other stuff. Those skellies are OP. Uh, but I'm kind of curious where maybe there's a little bit more traffic. Uh, maybe an air defense like over here, uh, how this is going to work out. So let's go ahead and try it on this air defense here. One, two, three. Uh, and see if they go right forward or they get distracted. And you can kind of see they get distracted, so you kind of need like a clear path around uh, the air defense. If that was a higher level air defense, it probably wouldn't have fell to those skeletons. Uh, so you kind of need something more like where there's a, a solid line around it. Uh, whereas with Zap Quake, uh, you can always just go in, drop the two, uh, two uh, lightning spells and the earthquake and get it. We don't need the earthquake there, but that's what you would normally do. Uh, so, as far as reliability, I'm going to go Zap Quake, but I think against, especially in War, you're going to be able to plan this out. Uh, I think in, against the right bases, I think the Skelly Spell might have some good validity there as far as being a good attack uh, strategy for taking out, saving some spell spots, taking out some air defenses. Uh, we're going to do one more one more attack, try to find something with some higher air, air defenses. Uh, but this was just kind of more of a just demonstration purposes, uh, show you guys how it's going. But we're going to go ahead and run through the space, get some loot and whatnot. Uh, we'll drop our heroes over here. Uh, but yeah, so this is a very, very interesting strategy. If you can get it to work effectively, find those proper ADs, uh, it's going to save you a whole spell slot. And if you can save a whole spell slot and have a rage spell or... Uh, an extra lightning even or I don't even know I would I think I would be an extra rage spell would be more effective that's the King's ability there uh, I think that's the way you would want to go with this I'm just gonna drop everything down because I have the pre-trained army I want to make sure everything gets trained for sure uh, so we're gonna get into one more attack as this finishes up here uh, looks like we're actually we're gonna hold on and because we want the three star we want the trophies uh, yeah, we, we want the trophy. So we're going to just fast forward through this and we will get back at it with another attack here shortly. All right, guys, we're back home. We're going to go ahead and gem up everything. Uh, make sure we have everything good. Yeah, we got zap quick. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing. Head back out. We're not going to take our heroes. We don't need our heroes. So we're going to go ahead and head out. Try to find a little bit harder of an AD level uh, to go ahead and All attack. Right guys. So again, if my understanding is correct, this should work out well. So this is a higher level air defense. Uh, let's drop three skelly spells right on there. They should go right for the air defense. Uh, ooh, maybe with that mortar. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Ooh, they actually got taken out. So there was a, a place where I thought it would be good. The expo and the mortar. I guess the splash damage is going to be a problem if you can't get around that splash damage that's gonna be a real problem let's try it uh, with a level two and then two level ones maybe see if that does any better uh, but yeah the the splash damage is wrecking it so it seems like in high traffic high DPS sections like this uh, which is gonna be really common in Town Hall 9 bases this isn't gonna be as reliable as previously thought in my opinion um, for my money I think Zap Quake is gonna be the more reliable uh, no questions asked, you know, you're gonna always get it in there with zap quake. I mean right there It might be worth the extra spell slot using zap quake uh, for your quad loon pencil loon uh, Just so it's not so risky even if you you know want to bring five skelly spells. I think zap quake is the way to go just 
just for consistency's sake. I, this is my personal opinion. Uh, maybe I'm doing stuff wrong, but I, I think I had a pretty decent understanding. Uh, I know up here, maybe it wasn't a perfect moat with that wall there. Uh, same over here, but as you see, I mean, that high DPS ate up those skellies. They went, they went around. I just don't see, I, I think it's a really great idea, and if you can get it to work, maybe practice it more. It's going to be really good, but for my money, Zap Quick is going to be still where it's at. Uh, but this is something I'm going to play with a little bit more, maybe do another video on it here shortly, uh, get you guys some more replays. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know what, if you, this is working out for you guys, uh, if you're having success with it. If not, let me know why not or what is working for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Keep on coming back for Clash Clans, Clash Royale content. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing, guys.